Hello there, folks. This quick video today is going to demonstrate how to use the Axis IP camera connected to a Redline Graphite HMI over uh, using Crimson 3.0 software. So the camera that I have uh, here in my possession team happens to be uh, this particular camera right here, the Axis P1214-E network camera. You can go to axis.com, A-X-I-S.com, and search for the P, is in Paul, 1214-E camera. So I've got that connected locally here to my desk, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my communications for my graphite to talk to it. So I'm going to go to communications on the left, on protocol one here, over on the left-hand side, I'll click on protocol one, hit the pick button. I'm going to pick the IP camera driver under the system, the first category here. System, click OK. Then if I click on the left-hand side where it has now the camera, uh, first of all, I might rename this Axis underscore P1214. That way, when I choose it later, it'll make sense. The local IP address of my camera happens to be 0 0.90. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. That's what I got uh, from the factory from DeVault default. Nothing else I need to do in here. I might change the image timeout to zero to make sure it continually refreshes. Okay. Now I'm going to go to display pages on the left. Here's my actual image. The primitive that I will use to display the image happens to be over in the right hand side in primitives. Uh, if you slide all the way down, there should be a category called active primitives. Uh, if you click on that, there's, well, let me, well, this is interesting. Uh, I'll drag, I'll pick the red one here, and I'll drag this guy out here like this. Now, before I stretch this, I want to show you guys something. If I take my cursor down here to the lower right-hand corner here, you can see that my current resolution of this Geo 9 screen is set to roughly 800 by 473, or 800 by 480, if you will. If I go back to the Axis uh, web page, they actually have a web page to uh, talk to this thing. Um, and by the way, this to get into it, the setup is nothing more than root for the password, and the password is just pass. And what I want to show you here is on the web page for that tool, if I go to video on here, actually, uh, well, I can go here. You can see right here in your video, the resolution that I'm currently picking is 800 by 450. You need to make sure that the resolution here is the same size or smaller than your current Redline HMI. If it's bigger than that, the primitive, as I have found it in Crimson 3.0, will not shrink the image down. So it needs to be the same size or smaller than what your current HMI is. So I've currently got this set to 800 by 450, which should be perfectly fine. If I go back here to Crimson, I'm going to take this primitive I just put on, and I'm going to make it take up the whole page. Uh, I also want to put that other uh, stuff in front, so I'm going to hit the tab button, and I'll right-click on that thing I had in behind, right-click, move to front, so we see that. All right, now I want to double-click on this red thing, and I need to tell it that, hey, I want you to get the data from that camera. That's the only thing I believe I have to do in here, team, so I'll click the OK button. I'll go ahead and download this to my local screen. And you can see over here in the little pop-up that it's showing live data. And I think, team, if I did this correctly, uh, I should be able to grab my little camera. And if you look, let me go ahead and do this. I'll turn on there. Let me go over to the web page, live feed this thing has going. We'll go to live feed. And, uh, oops, where to go? Here we go, live, here, live view right here. You should now see... A live feed on this is on my actual PC right here that's showing up right here. And if I do Alt, let's see here if I can figure out my webcam here. And now, if you look, team, you're actually looking at the webcam video of my graphite screen right here in front of me. And you can see if I tab away here, this is a new camera I got, so I'm not a pro team. But this is the image on the Geo 9, and you can see that uh, it's. Uh, Refreshing pretty darn good out there. Of course, my uh, uh, my screen here is changing quite quickly, or my 
actual live feed is, but pretty darn cool if you ask me. Uh, doing a demo with a IP camera uh, here using the Axis brand. Let me go back to the smaller scale, and uh, that's quickly how easy it is to set up this thing. The only catch I found is you got to make sure that the resolution from your camera, a live feed, is the same size or smaller than your current HMI. Uh, I'll make more on this uh, later. I just wanted to get a quick video on how to get this working. So thanks a lot, team. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.